What's going on everybody? Alex here with Nick and Son and Landscape. Today we're going to be walking you through our process of installing pavers. I'll take you over here and show you what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be extending this charcoal paver edge in front of this window sill. Bring it up around here and it's going to tuck over here to where we're going to be installing our pavers. We're going to be installing six foot on this side of the patio four foot off of the front and six foot off of the other side. So basically what we're doing is wrapping this current concrete patio and extending their living area or their outdoor living space. And we're also gonna be installing a few shrubs over here and also a couple of roses. And then we're doing the same thing over here. We're gonna be taking this edge and instead of it going over that way, it's going to be coming up here and lining the outside of the pavers. So there's going to be a few foot of rock over here on the outside of the pavers as there is over there. And we're also having an eight foot section of fence installed over there to give them a little block from the sunlight when they're sitting on their patio. So that's the pavers. Good habit to get into guys right when you get on site is mark everything out and have a clear plan as soon as you get started. So what we got here, we have this line coming here which is going to be the continued edge from around the house. This square here that I'm standing in, it goes around the side over there, that's going to be the pavers. And then we have spots marked here where the fence posts are going to be. We have where our plants are going to be. Right here's two roses and right there's two boxwoods. So pretty much have a visual of exactly what it's going to be with paint. We've got the first layer of rock down about two, two and a half inches. We compacted that. Now we're wetting it down and then we're going to compact it again and then add the rest of the rock, compact it again, wet it, compact it, and then we should be ready for sand. It's a never ending process, it seems like, but it's what you got to do if you want it to last. <laughs> Thank you. 
we finished removing the eight inches of topsoil, we compacted the dirt to make sure there was nothing loose, and then we applied weed mat, and we brought in two inches of crush base, compacted that, two more inches of crush base, compacted that, and then our final inch of crush base, compacted that, then we wet it all down, compact it again, and we're ready for sand. To get a one inch bed of sand in exactly one inch, you use PVC pipes, and the outside diameter of the pipe being one inch. You lay those down, and then you pour your sand in here, and use two by four. Just go across the top of the pipes, and level that sand out. And then you have exactly one inch. patio complete and our edging in place it's time for the polymeric sand and what this sand does differently than regular sand is it creates a bond whenever it gets wet it hardens it makes almost like a rubbery type texture to it but it'll hold the bricks together and it also prevents weeds from coming through the cracks So after you sweep out your first round of poly sand, you're gonna compact it all again. Then you're gonna need some more sand. You put that down, compact it one more time, and then you may have a few little gaps here and there or some things along the edges you need to touch up. Go around, sweep that all in, then clean it off real good. Take a blower across it, and then you're ready for water. And remember, the water is what helps bond this poly sand to the bricks and to the edging to hold it in place. 